some tutorials I've watched other artists create, but for the most part, I've just taught myself. I've spent a lot of time just creating art the way that I want to create it, and spending a lot of time looking at art from the Renaissance. And, uh, during that era, there was a lot of really detailed paintings, and the art was a lot different than what you see nowadays. The focus now is a lot of abstract art that no one really knows what they're looking at, or art that doesn't really require a whole lot of skill. And what I've always wanted to do is make artwork that is abstract, but also requires a lot of skill to create. And some, I'm kind of combining the two worlds of abstract and realism to make things more interesting, to make art work something that someone can see that is different and that is new. And in school, I had art class. It wasn't until, I think it was my junior year, I believe it was, that I had an art class. And in that class, I learned a little bit, but not a whole lot of uh, things about art. Because at that point, I had already shown myself most of it. And during the art class, I would go around and help other students and help teach them. But the difficulty I had was trying to teach other people how to draw. Uh, how to draw the way that I do, because I never really sat down with anybody to teach them how to create, how to draw, or how to make portraits. Um, and one thing I had a really hard time explaining was how I did abstract and dueling type of art. Because the way I created it was just whatever came to my mind. I didn't really have anything planned. I would just start making things. And I remember during the class when I would try to teach other students, they would ask me, how is it that you are able to draw this portrait? Um, what, what do you start out with? Where do you put these lines? Or how do you make um, everything symmetrical? And it was hard to explain because I really just kind of eyed it and just started drawing it. I um, wasn't sure how to explain it to the other students. And because I had never really watched any tutorials, um, and I was just self-taught, I wasn't sure how to go about explaining it to other people so that they could understand it. And I've been working on some tutor tutorials now on my channel that other people can see, um, such as how to draw with a roaching isograph, how to draw with a technical pen, and I do have planned as well how to draw with a fountain pen and other instruments and I want to start out with um, teaching how to draw the basics and like basic shapes and then from there talking about how it is that I draw abstract what comes to my mind um, the type of music I listen to and the the state of my mind before I create and as I was saying about being self-taught I do have a bit of work to do when it comes to trying to, to show other people how I do it. But I have a lot of things planned for that, and um, it's kind of a, well, it is pretty complicated really because drawing's always been something that I've always just done um, to help me deal with things in life, to deal with stress, to um, just create things for fun as well. and. Most of the time, I'm just zoned out. I, I'm not really thinking about what I'm creating. And so now that I've been drawing for about uh, 24, going on 25 years now, I started to focus more on what I am drawing and putting different things in it. And before I would just completely draw completely random abstract things. And now I started adding more faces and hands and other things in the drawings but I always enjoyed being self-taught because after the whole journey of creating after all the years of putting the work into it 
I can look back and say that, hey, I taught myself how to do this. I taught myself how to do it through all the effort, through all the struggles in life. And I did it without having to have someone teach me. And then I want to take what I taught myself and explain that to other people and to show everybody else how you can learn how to create and you don't always have to have someone there to teach you every step of the way. Because someone had to start in the first place. There was always someone that was the first person to figure out a way to create something. And I enjoy the aspect of going through all the hard work and then looking at something I've created and realizing that not only did I do the drawing and not only did I put all the effort into it, but I taught myself how to do it. And it's really, what's the word that I want to use? It's really something that I find as a, uh, that I put all the work into it and I feel really accomplished for doing that and overcoming everything. And I think that if I was to watch the tutorials on how to draw things, it would pretty much just be tutorials on how to draw things that are like uh, realistic, realism and all that. Um, as far as drawing abstract, um, I don't really need tutorials for that. I don't really need um, anybody to teach me because it's more of a expressive thing for me. It's something that I just do to get something off my mind or to express something that I'm thinking about or something I'm feeling. And so it just kind of comes to me naturally. It's not really something I have to put a lot of effort in. But I have fun doing it and I know that I'm improving a little bit every, every step of the way, every day, every week putting more work into it, every month, every year. And I look back a year ago and I've already improved quite a bit since then. And like when I look back, you know, a year ago, five years ago, 10 years ago, 20 years ago, there's been a lot of improvements. And I like that I've been able to teach myself how to create. And that doesn't mean that if you need someone to teach you how to draw that you're not an artist. It's just that for me personally, I found it more rewarding to teach myself and then see that I was able to create something like other people are drawing by doing things my own way and by creating in the way that I want to create that I find interesting and fun and creative rather than it being something that is just a repetition of work that you just see something you follow it and then you reproduce it on a piece of paper because that was always boring for me I didn't really get much enjoyment from it and so I wanted to create things the way I wanted to create and through this journey for me as an artist and all the years I've put the work into this I feel really accomplished for it and I just want to also help everybody else uh, know that if they want to you can learn how to draw by just doing it and practicing and I want to share my experiences share the story of things that have happened in my life and hopefully the things that I talk about my tips on life being an artist my tutorials and all of my drawings help other people because I've been through a lot of things and there's a difference between seeing things and knowing things versus going through the experience of it But I am self-taught and I enjoy that aspect of it and the feeling of accomplishment. And I hope that these videos help you and hope you have a great day. Have fun creating and doing whatever it is that you do. And I'll see you in the next video. See you later.